across the street cost a man his life. Police say a pickup truck hit and killed a man with a walker. Our cameras were there as investigators combed the scene for evidence. Police say he was crossing Tidewater Drive near Norview Avenue in Norfolk at around 5.30 this morning. Penny, your size Lex Gray has been following this investigation all day. She's live in Norfolk now. Lex. Yeah, Tom, the city of Norfolk moved quickly on this. By 4 o'clock, we learned that the city's director of public works and its traffic and safety engineers had all met to talk about how they might be able to improve safety at this intersection that you're seeing behind me. Uh, and they said that it was because of this morning's crash that they scheduled that meeting. City spokesperson Lloyd Crouch told me that they decided that they're planning on restriping the crosswalk when it gets warmer and also reviewing the lighting. She said that actually it's already well lit, but they're talking about possibly putting in and more lighting uh, down lower to the ground at pedestrian level. She thinks that might help. The city may be responding to this so quickly because what happened here this morning really didn't come as a great surprise to anyone here. 62 year old Gary Bess shouldn't have been killed this morning because he shouldn't have been in the crosswalk. Police say the driver of the pickup that hit him had the green light because all these seniors, they don't understand, you know, and they they watch the thing. Some of them cross against it. Mm -hmm. When it says don't cross, they'll cross against it. Whether people should cross or not, they may not be visible to drivers or able to move quickly coming from the senior apartments here. In January of 2013, a car hit and killed James Camp as he was crossing Tidewater. Camp was in a wheelchair. Bess was using a walker. With a walker or with a scooter, you're, you're going slow. And when you turn a corner, you can't see these people in these little things. Mm -hmm. And it's scary. In the last year, the city of Norfolk made the crossing time at this light longer. It upgraded a sign to give pedestrians a countdown. But that might not be enough. And until something changes, some residents say they'll just avoid the intersection altogether. Well, other people in here know. I know just about everybody in here. And they know. I've been here for six, seven years. So they know that they... They got to be careful crossing this street. Once Norfolk police finish up their investigation, they'll hand those results over to the Commonwealth attorney who will decide whether or not to file charges against the driver. But again, that driver did have the green light in this case. Live in Norfolk, Lex Gray, 10 on your side.